Well, uh, Robbie Robertson was just in doing, a, he's doing a book, and he's really doing it with research like you wouldn't believe, but he, he remembers a place, the roughest place he's, he said he, we'd ever played, and he couldn't remember the name of it. But what it was, it was a little town in Oklahoma called Tahlequah. Tahlequah, Oklahoma. After we played there once or twice, I would double book because I knew the dance would stop by 10 o'clock. That's why I got all my money in front and everything. Because that, that fight would start, blood this deep in all the dance floor. we just load up and go on to Tulsa and, and get a second job. <laughs> but Tahlequah, Oklahoma was probably the, the roughest. I don't know what it was, but they, they'd get drunk, and boy, the wars would start. Blood all everywhere. Yeah. You'd be lucky to get out of town sometimes? Oh, well, we had to leave a couple of times in a little bit of a hurry, and they followed us a long ways down the road. That's when I, I took uh, Jay Smith. Jason Smith, I think. I, anyway, he was a black kid, good-looking black kid, you know. About that time, he was about 21 or 2 then, you know. And so I, I took him down south, and we were in Arkansas. And so... He would go up and say, oh, no, he's a Canadian Negro. i say, tell him you're Spanish. Tell him you got them anything. They're still weird down here, man. And so uh, he got in there. Somebody said they was going to hurt him if he sung any more songs in that club. And that's when I, I pulled up my little gun. I pulled it three times in my lifetime. Put it for Jerry Lee Lewis. And he finally told that story on, the, on tape at the president's <laughs> deal about me. <laughs> He, 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 he was really ornery and mouthing off to five or six big kids, 27, 28 years old. Because we were sitting out on the balcony smoking, and uh, one, of the, one of the guys said, <laughs> said, how come you didn't play this and that and that and these songs that he wanted to hear? Because once he gets real high back in those days and drunk, he just starts singing whatever he wants, country songs, religious songs, anything. The first half is always great. The second half, if you like it, it's great. But they didn't like it. They didn't hear all the great balls of fire and all that stuff. So Jerry said, hey, well, I just have to hear how he is. He's drunk. And so he just pissed these guys off. And, and here they come. Boy, they said, wait a minute. We'll teach your ass for this. So I had that little policeman special. had a special thing. Lou Miles used to make my coat special so they couldn't see that lump in my in my coat. I pulled it out. I said, boy, five of you won't make it. I said, Five shot police special, <laughs> and so that kind of stopped them a minute, and they kind of backed up, but still cuss and move and do all this shit. And then I, I put that gun away. You know what Jerry Lee said? He said, "Ronnie said, I don't think you needed that gun. I think we could have whipped their ass." <laughs> so I knew then that Jerry Lee's a little crazy. He's a hair hair crazy, <laughs> but he told the story, and his daughter had never heard it before. <laughs> <laughs>